Hi, it's Ryan from Uncanny Owl. In this video, we're going to take a look at adding multiple actions to a single recipe. Each recipe can have as many actions as you want, and they can be from any different integrations. In this example, we're going to set up a recipe where a user failing a quiz twice notifies the user by email, resets their course progress, and tags the user in Infusionsoft. So that's three actions for one trigger. I've gone ahead and set the quiz failure trigger up, so if a user fails this test twice, the recipe will run. Let's start by adding the easiest action first, which is tagging the user in Infusionsoft. We'll use WP Fusion for that, so we'll choose that integration, then add a tag, choose the tag I want to add, and when I'm doing that, just make sure that you set up your tags in Infusionsoft first, then I'm going to save that action. The next easy action is setting up uh, the reset for the course progress. This quiz is part of the Automator Basics course, so I'll choose that course and save the action. We're almost there. Now for the last action, we'll send an email to the user, and that's a WordPress action. I'll choose WordPress, then send an email. When I click the user email token here, you can see that there's a lot that can still be defined for the emails. The from and to fields are fine as the default, but for the subject, I'm going to switch it to you need to retake Automator Basics. For the body, I want to personalize that a bit, so I'll start off with hi, then I want a user token for the first name. To retrieve tokens or variables, I'm going to click here, then under common tokens, I'm going to use user first name. Clicking that inserts it in my email so you can see the token value there, and that means that the system will look up the user's first name and populate that when it, uh, when it sends the email. And just down here, I'll put the rest of the message. You can use any special formatting or other tokens in your message. It doesn't have to be just the one token, and you can use the standard editor for your message. Now I can save that last action. Everything's all set to go, but it won't run until I switch all triggers and actions from draft to live. So I'll do that now. And finally, I'll set the recipe itself to live. That's it. Now, whenever any users fail the quiz twice, their course progress gets reset automatically, they're sent the email we just set up, and the tag gets added in Infusionsoft. All of it happens automatically.